if you're an immigrant here in the United States and you are looking for a way to get a green card, I'm going to tell you in this video how you can get a green card if you are married to a United States citizen or even if you're not an immigrant and you've come on some other type of visa or some other way to come into the United States, I'm going to tell you the process for getting a green card through marriage to a United States citizen. Hi, my name is Mohammed Salim. I'm an attorney in New York. I've done videos like this before, but this video, this is now April of 2023. I want to talk about the process for getting a green card in the United States when you're married to a U.S. citizen specifically, which is known as adjustment of status. I have done hundreds and hundreds of these cases on my own. In fact, the total amount of cases I worked on is well over a thousand or so because a lot of people who come to me have already started the paperwork or the process through a paralegal, a tax preparer, or a friend to say, hey, I'm going to help you get a green card. So if you're that person who started the process and don't know where to go, watch this video because I'm going to explain the entire steps and I'm going to talk about some important changes in the process that have come place in 2022 and 2023. So let's begin. What exactly is this process of adjustment of status? Adjustment of status is when you're here in the United States on like a visit visa or some other type of visa. It could be a student visa. I've done both of those cases, student visa, visit visa, or other type of diplomatic visa. And I've helped those people transition basically adjust their status from that visitor to a student to a green card holder. That process is what's known as adjustment of status when you do it through marriage to a United States citizen. Now, you know, the forms are pretty straightforward. You can download them all, fill them out, but here's the problem. Many people don't realize that filling out the forms is not enough. You need somebody who's done this successfully many, many times to prepare the case. It's not just an application, it's an entire case that you're submitting to USCIS, the government, to make a decision that your application is a legitimate case, a bona fide marriage. Because if you make mistakes and they don't think you're in a real marriage in the process, they deny it, that's a big problem for you because then they could accuse you of something called marriage fraud, some other type of misrepresentation, and possibly even some sort of immigrant fraud. I've seen that happen with other clients who went to paralegals, you know, messed up their cases, and then I had to work together to fix and undo a lot of the mistakes. So let's talk about that process again. The adjustment of status. You get married to a U.S. citizen. You're on a visit visa. You came in through some way. You were inspected at the airport or port of entry. And then what you do is that you submit the petition. You know, it's a green card petition. And you submit it with the adjustment of status application simultaneously. Now I want to say this is important because this is an advanced process that allows you to file the petition and the green card application simultaneously while you're here in the United States. So you could, you know, land at JFK airport on a visit visa, a student visa, you know, meet the love of your life, get married, and you know, he or she can petition for you and file your green card application. Now the great thing about this application and this process is you can actually get a work permit, a social, and a travel document at the same time. So if you need to go back to your home country, India, Egypt, somewhere, anywhere, you know, in South America, Africa, wherever you need to go in the world, you can leave the United States, go and come back, and still be able to continue your green card case. And that's the great, great thing about this, you know. So this helps a lot of people because, you know, like right now there's, there's some delays with green card processes, you know. So again, when we file your application, we're gonna file it with the petition, the adjustment of status, the work permit, the travel document, and we gotta do all the financial paperwork as well. So once we've done all of that, you know, filling out the application, my office specifically, I look at every single case and I say, is this a strong case? 
you could download the instructions for those applications and say, oh, yeah, I've got evidence of marriage. No, immigration, you know, their officers are really smart. They know what they're doing. They meticulously go through your application, the evidence to see that. Are you actually living together? Do you have a genuine relationship? How many people know about your relationship? You know, who showed up at your wedding? How many wedding photos did you submit? How many photos did you submit with friends and family? Did you, su did you submit bank statements? Did you submit insurance bills? Did you in uh, submit utility bills? Do you have a lease together in, the, in New York City? You know, I take cases that are really hard because a lot of times in New York City, immigrants can't get an apartment. I know this. You know, I grew up in New York. It's very hard. Housing is very expensive. And landlords don't want to take a chance on a person who's just on a visit visa. So what we try to do is that we try to come up with additional types of evidence. For example, affidavits from friends and family that are tested and notarized saying that this person's in real relationship. We get, you know, multiple types of evidence to really win your case. And I want to say win your case. That's important because... You know, the newest development under 2023 is that immigration is now approving cases without an interview. That's right. If you are applying for a green card based upon marriage to a U.S. citizen and everything looks good, you have a clean criminal history, um, you know, nothing in terms of other types of, uh, you know, activities. You, you know, this is a genuine marriage and you submit that evidence you know, they will not do an interview, you know, I mean, they, they have the right to do the interview, but many of my clients, you know, it's the reason why I'm not in 26 Federal Plaza. I'm here outside my office, which is right there. I'm doing this because I haven't had to go to 26 Federal Plaza. A lot of my clients have been getting their green card cases approved, you know, right, right to their doors. They haven't had to go, they haven't had to go before an immigration officer. They've got in, 10-year green cards, two-year green cards without having to go to an interview. So that's something significant. If your case is really strong and you do it the right way, you know, we're talking about the I-130, the 485 process concurrently, and you are showing enough evidence in your case where they will not send you an RFE, then there's a strong chance that you will just get a green card mailed to your house and, and an approval notice. I've had this happen a lot to many of my clients.